Yeah, 15 feet up the hill. Probably slightly right to left, this one. Another birdie. Beautiful. Paul Waring looks like he's going to be laying up. The difficulty of his layup is he's got the trees right in front of him, so he's going to have to hit it quite high over the top. Job, mate. Not a player you associate with a high ball flight either, but no problems at all for Paul there. Waring is a fraction closer, 139 metres. Smooth eight iron. Yeah, decent shot. Tough little ridge to putt across from there, though. So he'll have his work cut out to hold that one and make four. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not going to frighten Thomas Aiken. He'll be right up for it, but Waring looking for that elusive first win on the tour. <laughs> Got Aiken to move his marker and hit it anyway. Quite a hard hit. I am coming off a down slope. See the contrast in the two players. Aitken aiming over the water, trying to cut it in. Waring likes to draw the ball, so he was aiming away from the flag, but has found that front bunker. So nobody looking pretty here at the moment. This one should be just straight down the hill. But he keeps his 100% record out of the sand this week intact good up and down five par threes on the course is five under for the threes this week top scoring and that's really good going because they're not exactly easy holes either and Paul Waring would have been looking to have learned quite a bit from Thomas's chip, but unfortunately not able to. Let's put from right to left two balls. Talking a little while back, it could turn into a match play battle. Of course, it would have to be a match play medal battle, and we've had one of those already in Belgium this year. Match play medal tournament. And it stays up on the top ridge. You've got to be brave to fly it all the way to the hole. Oh, he's got it down the level. That's a cracking shot from Paul Waring. Yeah. That'll put a little bit of extra pressure on Thomas's shot. The last two holes, don't want to make a third in a row. Good chance here for Paul Waring, though. Oh, this is a great chance for Paul. There's very little break in this putt. Maybe right edge at the most. I'd keep it inside the hole and it'd firm. The greens have got a little bit of moisture to them now. So it's quite a slow putt. Another par goes on the card. Yeah, you can't knock him for that. Good effort. And the wind's just picked up back into the player's face. So he's going to need a real strong one. It looks as if he's absolutely <coughs> drilled it. Oh, that is a fabulous goal shot. That he really is top notch. <laughs> Going to break a fraction from left to right down the hill after what was a fantastic iron shot from Paul. Oh, good effort. Yeah, it was quite a lot of late break on that. Another dead weight putt. Nothing wrong with a four at that seventh hole, though. Consistently the toughest hole all week.
giving himself a great opportunity just to lay up with a mid iron try and get it in the perfect spot leave his favorite number Maybe playing further left there. Quite a tight pin this one yeah. on the eighth. Ten on and only three from the right with the bunker just right of the pin. Well, you can't blame him <laughs> if you've got to take them. And Paul Waring is a champion on the European Tour at the age of 33. And in his 200th European Tour appearance, Lee Slattery runs on with a bottle of champagne. They come from the same part of uh, England, up in the northwest. Good friends, and nice to see. Yes, why not? You've earned it, Paul. Paul, many congratulations. This year's Nordea Masters champion, your 200th appearance on the European Tour, and your first victory. Tell us how you feel. Well, 200th time, lucky, isn't it? Um, obviously ecstatic. You know, I've been through, been through a few ups and downs in my career with injuries, uh, some good golf played, a few other bits and bobs along the way. So, you know, actually to finally get across the line, I'm, you know, absolutely ecstatic right now. Of course, you've been prepared a lot coming into this week, a lot with your coach. And of course, you've got a putting green at the bottom of the garden in between glasses of wine. What do you attribute this win down to most? It, it's easy to say, you know, obviously the last couple of weeks, obviously putting the putting green down, you know, that's the reason why. But, you know, there's 15 years of work on into this with my coach, Graham Walker, you know, um, rehired Lee Crumble home psychologist that just obviously helped me after sort of middle of the season where I was struggling a little bit. So, you know, to... You know, to come through it on this sort of level and actually get the first win on the other side of it, you know, I'm absolutely made up. How did the psychology change for you today? Obviously, Thomas came out with a great birdie on the first. You came back with one on second. It looked like things were changing hands for most of the day. Yeah, I, I felt like I got myself into control, sort of into the back nine. Um, obviously, I actually hit a few putts. I hit the lip into 14, 15, 16. So I, I felt like I kind of kept it sort of my side obviously got a bit unlucky with uh with the lie on 18 out the bunker you know didn't really give himself a shot uh, and obviously thomas made birdie which obviously put us back to level but you know it's nice to get it done down the first extra it looked like things might sway a little bit on 14 there was a great putt made by thomas yours lipped out i think second time in a row did you think things might turn a little um i was i was always quite confident i was always i always felt like i had control of the golf ball to a point so I wasn't too concerned with what other people were doing. I was very much in my own head and I was very much, you know, trying to look after the things I can sort of control, really. 
a lot of guys obviously like to drink out their trophies. What might you be tasting out this one later? Oh, I don't know. I, I think a nice cold beer for now, but maybe a nice bottle of red wine at some point would be nice. As well. Many congratulations. Thank you very much. Do you know the European tour video? Click here. Or to subscribe, click here.